So I think it's relatively easy to try and come up with a song that sounds happy or sad or angry, but what about some of those micro emotions? What about something like a smell? Today, I think I'm gonna try and come up with a piece of music that sounds like it smells. And I think I'm gonna go with a good smell. I'm gonna go with the honeysuckle. If you don't know what honeysuckle is, it's a vine with a flower on it that grows like crazy in the South, uh, at least where I live in Atlanta. It smells really sweet and strong and mysterious, especially at nighttime it smells. It's like almost intoxicating. I'm gonna try and come up with a piece of music that sounds like the honeysuckle smells. You can let me know if you think I was successful and I'll let you hear the music now and then I'll show you how I came up with it. Here we go. Okay, so I got four layers here. I'm gonna show you how I came up with each layer. First up is the piano part. It's pretty simple. It, it changes keys. We go from this A major vibe to this C major vibe, and then back to A major. I like when you change keys up a minor third because it has that sort of open, strange feeling, which I thought would be cool for a sort of intoxicating smell. In the right hand uh, above A major, B minor, C sharp minor, B minor, A, and then we do C, D minor, E minor, D minor, C. So that's just like the first one, two, three of each of those keys. I took this part and I mic'd it up and ran it through some interesting processing. So without anything, this is what it sounds like. I put this micro shift on there, which is basically doubling it and giving it a stereo sort of warble. So here's without it. And here's with it. So then next up, I threw a little delay on there. And I have that uh, tempo set with that sort of waltz feel. So it's starting to give it a little bit more character. Here's with the plate reverb. And then finally, saturation on there through this, this oxide tape emulator. So here's without it. But then when we kick it on, It's pretty subtle, but it's giving it a little bit of saturation and it's just kind of smoothing it out a little bit in a pleasant way. The melody is actually a little bit of a collab. My wife, Shay, is a really amazing singer and she's really creative. So I asked if she'd be willing to sort of hum along and see if she could come up with some interesting parts. And this is one of the parts that she came up with. I really liked that. I thought it was kind of spooky and cool, and it felt like a theremin sort of melody to me. I thought it would sound cool with the Moog. You got this melody, but then in the left hand, I'm using this uh, modulation wheel to try and give us that. That vibrato, and then in the right foot, using this uh, volume pedal. I'm using this uh, this glide here, and what that's doing is that's, hear how it's sort of bending between notes? So all of it together is meant to sort of emulate the human voice and that vibrato that, or that you might get out of a theremin. And then I ran it through this micro shift, which is giving us that wider stereo sort of feeling. And then I hit it with uh, some delay kind of like a slap back, just to open it up a little more even. And then I uh, ran it through this plate reverb. And then finally, I hit that oxide tape, which is giving a little saturation. It kind of makes it creamy and makes it just blend together nicely. 
For the bass, we also used this Moog, and I've got this sound dialed in with a little bit of modulation, which gives us a sort of vibrato feel on the bass. We also have a slow attack on the filter, which kind of makes the note open up. I put a little reverb on it, and some people think it's like illegal to put reverb on bass. I don't think so. So here's with the reverb. And then finally I ran it through our friendly oxide tape. Just to give it a little uh, saturation, kind of smooth things together. So that's the bass sound. So the last layer, a little bit of a wild card. I heard the birds outside while I was recording this and I kind of liked how it sounded alongside the music. So I took my camera outside and recorded a little bit of ambience. So here's just the ambience by itself. Pretty basic. So then I put this uh, pretty drastic EQ on it isolating just those bird sounds. And then I ran it through this uh, this RX denoise. So we're just pulling out those, those bird sounds. Made it backwards. And then I used this, uh, this little Alter Boy plugin, which is really good for changing the pitch of things. So I've dropped it down an octave. Ran it through some delay and some reverb. And then the last thing was uh, this oxide tape. And I hit that a little harder uh, so it would saturate a little bit. And it's kind of a weird sound, but in the context of the mix, kind of interesting. All right, that's it. Those are the four layers. How did I do? Do you think I captured the essence of the smell as a sound? I know this is a super strange video but i had so much fun making it and i want to do more videos like this so let me know what sort of tiny songs you'd be interested in hearing and uh, also if you want to support the channel check out the bass course that's the the most helpful thing to help me make more videos for you so uh, thanks for hanging out this week and i'll see you on the next video